you get your HCG, you're going to get a couple things. You are going to get a powdered vial of HCG that says 5,000 units. You're also going to get some bacteriostatic mixing water that you have to add to the HCG. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a uh, bunch of alcohol pads. You always just want to alcohol up the top of the vial. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a 3 ml syringe with a big needle. That's not the needle you inject with. You're gonna stick that directly in the center of the bacteriostatic water, and you're gonna pull out two mLs. You'll see this is a three mL syringe. So you could pull past the number two, and then you could just push back down to right there. So you got two mLs of bacteriostatic water. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your HCG vial, take the bacteriostatic water, and just inject it right in. Now, what you don't want to do with this vial is you don't want to shake it. You just want to kind of tumble it back and forth in your hands until it fully mixes. Sometimes it'll get a little soapy. You'll see some bubbles and that's fine. And then once all the powder dissolves, you know it's good to go. Once you mix this HCG vial, it needs to be refrigerated. So you want to keep it in the refrigerator every single night. Then when you inject the HCG, you're going to get a little uh, insulin syringe that goes from 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 30. It's 0.3 mLs. Every single night or every single day, whenever you choose to inject it, you're going to turn your HCG vial upside down. You're going to take your little 0.3 mL insulin syringe. You're going to stick that right in the center. You turn your bottle upside down and then you're going to pull, depending on the dose I have you on, if you pull to the one line, that's gonna be 250 units. Most of you are gonna to pull to the two to the 20 line. I'm sorry, to the 10 line, I should have said. Most of you are gonna to pull to the 20 line, which is 500 units. Once you pull to the 20 line, and again, if you have to pull back, if you get a couple bubbles in there, that's fine. You just push back down to the 20 line, and then you pull this out, you're ready to inject. Yeah. So Again, before you inject, you always want to take an alcohol pad and just wipe off the top of the bottle and that just sterilizes, it. swipe just like that. Now you have your HCG, you pull to the 20 line and you're ready to inject. So you can inject actually two places. You can inject anywhere in the abdomen. I'll show you right here to show you on me. You can inject anywhere in the abdomen. You just pinch a little bit of belly fat or you can inject mid thigh, just pick up a little skin, but it's a subcutaneous injection. So what you're gonna do is just lift up your shirt there a little bit. You basically just alcohol off an area, either to the right or left of the belly button. Take your little needle off. You just pinch a little skin and go straight in. Just like that. And you can just hold some direct pressure there for like 30 seconds and you're done.